His comments from Iowa are about 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Iowa Senator Tom Harkin! Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're wonderful. All right, let it rip. Let me first. Whoa, wait, whoa. A year ago, six months ago, they didn't give this campaign a chance at all. I can only tell you that I am as proud of Howard Dean now as when I first endorsed him. Iowa, Iowa historically punches three tickets out of this state, and we are on that ticket. I want to thank, I especially want to thank all of the volunteers who did all of this wonderful work. You're wonderful. You did it. You got us here. You got us on the road to New Hampshire. As Howard Dean has said, this campaign is about changing America. It is about changing politics as usual. No one said it's going to be easy. The special interests and the Washington insiders are going to circle the wagons. As I've said before, they want to keep you afraid. They want to keep you powerless. We are not afraid, and we are not powerless. This is about changing, changing, and change. Change is not a sprint, it's a marathon, and we are in this marathon. <laughs> Howard Dean! Howard Dean's message of hope, of bringing in young people, encouraging them to be a part of the political process, that's the future of America! I am so proud of all of you, and now we're out of Iowa, and we'll see you in New Hampshire!
and we are going to win, and we are going to beat George Bush, and we're going to send him back to Texas. On to, on to New Hampshire. We'll take them on there. We need you now to move on. Thank you for being in Iowa. Now let's go to the Granite State and we'll take them on there. Are you ready? Are you ready to take this fight on? Are you ready not to give up? Are you ready to change America? Then you are ready for Howard Dean, the next president of the United States. You have already got the picture here. I, I was about to say, you know, I, I'm sure there's some disappointed people here. You know what? You know something? You know something? If you had told us one year ago that we were going to come in third in Iowa, we would have given anything for that. And you know something? You know something? Not only are we going to New Hampshire, Tom Harkin, we're going to South Carolina and Oklahoma and Arizona and North Dakota and New Mexico. And we're going to California and Texas and New York. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! We will not give up. We will not give up in New Hampshire. We will not give up in South Carolina. We will not give up in Arizona or New Mexico, Oklahoma, North Dakota, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan. We will not quit now or ever. We want our country back for ordinary Americans. I, and we're going to win in Massachusetts, and North Carolina, and Missouri, and Arkansas, and Connecticut, and New York, and Ohio. Let me... Let me, let me, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait. I, uh, there, are, there are some polite things we have to do here. And the first is th to thank some people. And I, I want to thank Jeannie Murray and her extraordinary Iowa people. 
She has worked so hard. Come on up here, Jeannie. Yeah, come on up. Come on up. Jeannie Murray. Come on. Let me thank Jeannie and all her people in Iowa. You worked hard. You got our ticket punched to New Hampshire. And I appreciate it. You have, should be so proud of you, our hardworking Iowa staff. Let me thank... Let me thank Tom Harkin. You are so lucky. You are so lucky. You are so lucky to have a United States Senator who understands what it is to stand up for ordinary Americans. And he is the leader in the United States Senate to take our country back for ordinary Americans again. Let me thank Berkeley Bedell and Dave Nagel, two former congressmen from Iowa who've been all over Iowa for us, helping us. I don't know where Dave is tonight, but I want to thank him. Let me thank the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades for standing up. Let me thank the American Federation of State and County and Municipal Employees for all the help they've been. The Service Employees International Union, SEIU, thank you so much. But most of all, let me thank you from all over America coming to change this country. We haven't seen this in 30 years. Now, in my generation was the last time I saw all this stuff going on with people you all, you're all age, under 30 years old. And we are, we are a little more, we were, what? Now, when I was, when I was your age, when I was your age, we did change two presidents and change the foreign policy of the United States of America. Now, the only difference is it took six years, and we got six months to go before we're going to do it here. This is the changing of the generations, the passing of the torch to the new generation. It is your generation. And it's your generation that's fueling this campaign because you know that the half trillion dollar deficits this president is piling up are going to be billed to you and your children because of the terrible damage this president is doing the environment are going to be things that you're going to have to live with and we're going to change that and you have the power to change that and we are starting right tonight. We, we have just begun to fight. We have just begun to fight. And we're going to fight and fight and fight until this country becomes a place where we'll put more money into small children and their families than we will into prisons. where instead of giving $16 billion worth of tax breaks to oil companies and gas companies, we'll put it in to renewable energy and ethanol and biodiesel. Where instead of giving $200 billion to the HMOs and insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies, we'll give seniors a real prescription benefit. I would have liked to come in first tonight, and so would you. But you know what? I want to thank the people of Iowa. I do. I have spent two years here. I've gone to all 99 counties. This is a wonderful, wonderful state with wonderful, wonderful people, and I appreciate it very, very much. I have called Senator Kerry and Senator Edwards and congratulated them and told them we would see them around the corner on the other side of the block starting tomorrow morning. I have called Representative Gephardt and thanked him for a courageous run. I worked for him in 1988. I still feel some loyalty to him. 
he did the best he could, and I appreciate what he's, his long career of service for the United States of America. And now, I want every single one of you to, who can do it to go to New Hampshire. And if you can't go to New Hampshire, I want you to go to Arizona or New Mexico or Oklahoma or Delaware or South Carolina or North Dakota. Viva New Mexico! Viva Di! Si se puede! 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 I'm just going to close the way I always close. Because we got to get on a plane and we got to fly to New Hampshire because you know what? We're going to have a big rally at 3 o'clock in the morning when we land in New Hampshire. You have the power to take back this party so we'll stand up for Harry, what Harry Truman put in the 1948 Democratic Party platform, health care for everybody. You have the power to take back the flag of the United States of America so it no longer belongs solely to Jerry Falwell and Rush Limbaugh and Dick Cheney and John Ashcroft. And together, we have the power to take back the White House in 2004. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Congressman Richard Gephardt briefly spoke to his Iowa supporters a bit later in the night. He placed fourth in the state.